So guys, this is a very quick film about Rebel Wisdom Live. We had an amazing event last night with Ian McGilchrist, the author of Master and His Emissary. And we also recorded an interview with him in this room that we're going to release as well in the next couple of weeks. We're going to put a few clips from the live event in this film, starting now. You know, this is called Rebel Wisdom. I just want people to be rebellious against the status quo, all the things you're told, all the managerial guff that overlays the reality and vividness and vitality of our lives and come down to the brass tacks of what's important and stand up for it. So thank you to everyone who tuned into the live stream last night and also thank you to everyone who came to the event. We sold out, which was great. Um, the level of conversation in the live stream was brilliant. It was actually really funny, lots of fun. And the quality of the questions was also excellent. And we actually asked Ian uh, some of the questions from the live stream, like this one. So we'll take a question from the live stream, which is from Jenny Macness. A consistent thread through the book is the idea of betweenness. Mm. Could Ian say more about what he means by this and why it's important? Yes, uh, I'll try to do this briefly. Um, think of an electric current. Uh, it it's, uh, manifests between two poles, a positive pole and a negative pole. It's not in the positive pole, it's not in the negative pole, it's not even in the positive pole plus the negative pole, nor is it in the space between the two poles, because that space is nothing. It's in the whole betweenness of the two poles and what that brings about at a wholly different level. A good analogy is music. Music is all betweenness. So take a note, an A flat. What does it mean? Absolutely nothing. Take another one, a B. It means absolutely nothing. Put 30,000 of these things together and you've got Bach's B minor mass. So what happened there? Which means a hell of a lot. Um, so it's not in the notes, so it must be in the spaces between the notes. But the spaces between the notes in a melody are just silence. The spaces between notes in harmony are just silence. The spaces between the beat of the rhythm are not there. What, so if you put a lot of things that mean nothing together, and a lot of spaces that mean nothing together, you find something that means more than almost anything you can experience in the world. How does that happen? The answer is, if you like, betweenness. So what we underestimate, bringing it down to earth, is that we are not, you know, we are not atomistic. There is no way in which I exist independently of all of you and of all of the, the planet and of all of the people who came before me. And indeed, in a, a strange way, I'm part of something that is to come. That is all not in me or in them, or in some sort of gaps between us, but is in the betweenness. That's what I mean by it. And it's, thank you, Jenny, for raising the point, because it is absolutely fundamental to my philosophy. And it's another way of talking about what I was talking about earlier that I'm writing about right now. So we've been talking a lot about how we do this going forward. And what we've decided is that we're going to obviously always stream the talks live on YouTube, so anyone who wants to can tune in. And then we're going to put the film of the talk up on Patreon. And anyone who's a $5 plus a month subscriber can watch the talk in its entirety when it's up there. So we've actually stolen this format from Sam Harris uh, for many of the same reasons. Uh, a major one is that a live event is it's quite a different beast to a sit-down interview and we don't have as much control over the quality of it. So the event video that we're showing clips with here is not the same as the live feed. It's the, it's the feed from the camera that's running at the same time, so it's high res, it's better quality than the live stream, but as it's a similar decision, as you said, that Sam Harris made, which is the, the, the best quality content the, the podcasts or the interviews that we're doing where we can definitely sort of control the environment. That is our sort of signature dish. So we're going to put that out um, on the main channel and the events, which are slightly harder to control, will be for patrons only. And generally, whenever we're doing a live event, we're going to have an interview with that guest at the beforehand. We'll get them into the studio a little bit before the event. So we'll have the interview to go up 
alongside. And we also have to think sort of long term about how we make this sustainable. And the way to do that that we've chosen is to really ramp up the Patreon content and increase the number of people who are subscribing on Patreon. So, um, and also at the same time, we're going to be taking questions. We're trying to involve the community as much as possible in this conversation, asking them for questions for our upcoming interviews, asking the live stream audience for questions during the live stream, uh, a little bit like this one. I'm gonna play another clip. If mind and matter aspects are the same thing, what is that thing? Uh, well, of course, we don't have a word for it, but um, can I answer with an analogy? Everybody knows what water is. It's a transparent liquid that flows. But there's also this funny, opaque, very cold substance that is entirely immobile, ice. There is also this absolutely invisible something in the air, which is also water vapour. So water exists in different phases. Which of them is water? They're all water, if you like. Well, they're all not water, depending on how you look at it. Now, I see the relationship very briefly, I'd need a lot longer, between matter and consciousness as being like this, that consciousness is, as it were, the final substrate. Matter is something, a form of consciousness, an element in consciousness, in physics terms, a phase of consciousness, in the same way that ice is a phase of water. So to see the rest of Ian McGilchrist's Divided Rain, Divided World, sign up as a patron. And the next Rebel Wisdom Live is going to be a little bit different than the ones we've had before. It's called Occult Politics in the Time of Chaos. And we've got two speakers. There's Gary Lachman, who's been on the channel before, and he's written a book called Dark Star Rising, looking at how the occult and esoteric practices influence Trump's rise to power and how they might still be influencing world politics. And then we have Julian Vane, who is also an expert on esoteric culture and history and written a number of books. So we're going to have both of them, and we're going to have both of them up for the Q&A, and it's uh, going to be very, very interesting, I think. So tune in for that. That's going to be on December 4th uh, in London live, but obviously live streamed as well. And there'll be more information on that before it happens. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.